Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where I have some good news on the oil tank. My mate Neil has done an absolutely cracking job of welding up the oil tank and here it is. Come on tank, don't be shy. Come on, come on, come on, stop. That's it, you're the one. Look at that. Look at that beautifully tigged up aluminium weld all the way around the outside to put the lid on the oil tank absolutely stunning if you take the top off and you look inside you can see it's got full penetration all the way around it includes the fittings for the um, double headed threads so that the the left-handed thread and the right-handed thread i've explained those to death probably in other videos so that needs to be welded to the frame now uh, and then the tank will be in situ but it does look a fantastic job that includes the uh, bottom unions as well where the oil pipes will fit and it also includes filling up a hole now you can't see apart from the fact one part of it is a bit shiny where it's been sort of polished up uh, there was a big hole in there and that hole was for a pressure union that i asked neil if he could just fill up for me rather than just leave a, a pressure schrader valve in and uh, and you would never know it was there so absolute top quality job when somebody does this for, for a living you, you can tell the difference between that and an amateur like myself so it's a fantastic job neil went over and above by going in at five o'clock in the morning before the bosses get there um just just to get it done because he wanted to get it out of the way and, and it's fantastic now if i put this up to the bike you'll see uh, the, how it will all look together and those those unions there if you can see those um they, they've come out nice and straight and nice and square so when they've been spot welded in place i'll then take the tank off and then weld round hopefully i can get half as good a weld as these ones uh, and then that will be attached um, I did get a comment from someone to say it looks a bit like a push bike water bottle. If I thought about it, I could have just bought a push bike water bottle um, and, and used that instead. But hey, it's too late now. Um, I, I don't think it looks too bad. But um, yeah, I mean, it's great. I like the fact everybody's got a different opinion. So keep those comments coming. Anything you think would look better like this or worse like that, you know, that, that type of thing. Always good to hear. So that's how it is, and just as a last comparison, this is the original Tesla air suspension tank. So putting the two together, you can see the amount of work that's been done to get this into this. And I thought that was just a little bit too big to have on the front of your bike, and that's a sort of cuter size. And the, you, can't, um, you can't feel the weight in the video, but it is ever so light. Um, there's, there's not much weight in that at all. So I'm really pleased with that, really pleased. I just have to get the last bit of welding done. Um, and then that, that will be the very, very last oil tank update, I promise, because we probably had enough of those by now, right? Okay, so uh, once again, thank you to Neil. Absolutely stunning work, mate. And um, as usual, more updates will follow. Thanks for watching.